Car theft is becoming more common in Southern Arizona and thieves are now targeting cars that are for sale. News 4 Tucson's Daniel McFarland has the story. It's new at five. When you're in the market for a new car, trading in is one option, but sometimes you can get more money selling it privately. But one thing you need to consider is the risks of selling your car privately online. Yesenia and her husband are selling their 2008 Yukon to put a down payment on their new SUV. They decided to list their car for sale on Facebook and gave a location where people can come and see it. One man met up with them who appeared to be a serious buyer. The guy was perfectly fine. He negotiated, discussed, you know, everything, what the car needed. Uh, a couple, you know, suggested maybe new tires because we, we travel and things like that. This unidentified man calmly enters the store where Yusinia's husband worked and asked about the Yukon. The pair then went for a test drive together before agreeing to a price. After the agreement, they went to pick up the title. That is when the car was stolen. He, I guess, forgot the keys sitting on the dash because he was, you know, trustworthy of this person since they were in a business and there's other people around. Um, he went to get the title and as he's coming out, he sees that this guy just drove off the lot and has not returned since. The sheriff's department has a few tips about how to handle private sales besides meeting in public. Make sure you have good information about who that person is. And if they are wanting to take the vehicle to a mechanic, you can consider taking it there yourself on their behalf. If at any point during the sale you're feeling uncomfortable with selling your car, it is perfectly okay to back out. From Tucson, Daniel McFarland, News 4 Tucson.